Hello everybody! Well, what have we got here? This is another slightly knackered hub. This is my original Bafang G06 750 watt fat bike hub. Now, I think what's happened is I've bent the main spindle because it makes a sort of a whoop 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 noise when you're driving along at say 10 miles an hour. That speeds up to the point where you can't really hear it around 25 miles an hour. I swapped out the clutch, I swapped out the nylon gears, still doing it. Looking at the motor, you kind of get the impression that it's out of line and one side's nearer the magnets than the other, but that doesn't really explain why it's jammed in one place. There must be a highlight on the magnet bit and a highlight on the coils. And the only possible way I can think of fixing it is to bend it back, but it's such a small movement and such a strong spindle. That's never going to happen. There's definitely some metal to metal contact. And also when I do a quick start like this, you can actually see the main casting is twisting a bit on the spindle. I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay, I'm going to pull the planetary gears off one last time. You need a bit of a puller to do it. Um, just to rule out maybe they are actually causing the problem. I don't think so, but... What the hell is this? This is like a rivet top I've just found inside the gears. Oh my god, have I just knocked this off now? Or has that always been sat in there just waiting to chew the gears? Hilarious. I am the botch merchant. It does sound a bit quieter, but I think that's expected when you take off the planetary gears. You can still hear that noise. And actually, you can feel the thump actually through the table, through the vice. So there's definitely something mildly amiss. And as you can see, it kind of disappears at full speed. This noise on the bike was enough to attract people's attention. They turn around and think, what the hell is making this do 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 noise? Okay, I'm slightly worried now. Why is it not turning properly? Is it totally thrown in the towel? Something slipping? This isn't right. Is it wrecking the gears? Well, duh! It was spinning backwards. Swapped a couple of phase wires round, and away we go! Still a bit of an annoying noise, but it'd be alright if I'm in the middle of nowhere. Well, you might have sussed it by now that I'm building an electric BMX bike, and uh, this is, I'm going to keep the tie original, just the hubs changed, but I've actually got a moose inner tube of a friend of mine. He actually carved the inside of it out so you can put an inner tube as well to adjust the pressure, but it fits like a dream on the BMX. And they're quite expensive to buy, so I got it for free. I know it'll be absolutely really useless and it'll probably spin. I might have to make some kind of contraption like um, dirt bikes have, you know, to hold the uh, tyre on the rim. See how it goes. You can hear the noise the hub makes on this uh, clip of me climbing up the ice nearby. It's, uh, this is the, my original electric bike. And yes, I also melted the phase wires. This is my second e-bike, the downhill bike, fitted with the same hub, and it uh, coped with anything. I mean, I'm going over those rocks, and some of those rocks are the size of pineapples, and I'm smashing over them at 40 miles an hour. The hub didn't have the slightest problem with it. Okay, yeah, eventually it did bend, but it took a hell of a lot of abuse took years of abuse before it started to give me any problems. Never melted anything except phase-wise. Well, thanks for watching. I will eventually get back to actually riding the bike off-road and up hills.